Hey everybody, it's Dawn Colicchio from Remax Diamond Realtors right here in central New Jersey. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. As always, I always love seeing you guys. When it comes to buying a home and applying for a mortgage, I think a lot of buyers know what an FHA loan is compared to a conventional loan. And mostly because they sit down with a mortgage rep and a mortgage rep will tell them the difference between the two and pretty much recommend the best route for them to take. So today, I want to talk to you about an FHA loan, but how it affects the seller and what you guys need to know to protect yourself and make a great decision when picking a contract for your property. One of the things that I don't think um, mostly a seller realizes is that an FHA appraisal is a little different because it's also an inspection. Now this is above and beyond the home inspection that the buyers had, and it's also above and beyond the certificate of occupancy inspection the township required. So this is on top of those two already. Let's start by going over some of the things that the FHA appraiser is going to flag. The first and most common that I've seen is chipping and peeling paint. Obviously, um, if a home was built prior to 1978, the concern is that there is lead-based paint in the house. And if it is chipping and peeling, the potential for a young child to put it in their mouth is very great. So that is going to get flagged and um, that is going to have to be repaired. The second thing I see an awful lot of is um, handrails, front and back porch, they need to be secured, not wobbling. Um, handrails going to the second floor or maybe down to the basement also need to be properly secured. Obviously, we can't forget about cracked or broken windows. That's all you need is for um, somebody to lean on the window and have their entire arm go through. That's gonna get flagged on an FHA appraisal as well. They're also gonna make sure that all the um, big units are working properly. Okay, so heating, electrical, plumbing. They're going to make sure that all those systems are working efficiently. They're also going to check um, the roof. They're going to make sure that all the bedrooms have an egress window or an egress exit. And what that is, is it can be a window or a doorway, but if there's a fire, they want to make sure that there's some other way to get out of the bedroom um, if the doorway to the bedroom is blocked by flames. So it has to be a window big enough for us to get our whole bodies through. They will take a walk around the outside of the property as well to look at the foundation. Are there any major cracks in the foundation? Are there any bulges in the foundation wall? They're gonna look for trip hazards. Um, do, do the sidewalks or the walkways, are they level? There's no trip hazards. Are the front and back stairs, um, the porches in good shape? Are they crumbling? All these things are gonna get flagged on an FHA appraisal. So now let's talk about it. How does that affect the seller? Well, you've already negotiated all your home inspection issues. You've already said yes to this, no to that, I'll fix that, here's a credit. Well now, you're going to get another list from the bank that says, guess what? All these things have to be fixed before we will issue the loan commitment. So now, you have to fix these because if not, you can't sell to this buyer. So now, as the seller, you have two options. You either fix the things that were flagged on the um, FHA appraisal inspection, or you put the house back on the market and get another buyer. Now, I do want to mention, I am not in any way telling anyone that an FHA mortgage is not a good product. It's a great product. There are clients of mine that go FHA all the time. The transaction is very, very smooth and everything goes well. The reason that I'm doing this video is because I do believe that sellers need to be educated on what the potential risks are when they're accepting an offer. With all that being said, let's face it, a seller knows their house. So you know when you sit down and think of all the things that we just talked about, are any of those things a problem? If not, you probably won't have a problem with an FHA buyer. Obviously, if you have several things on that list I just mentioned that are a problem, you probably want to go with a conventional buyer or a cash buyer. 
I'm also leaving two links down in the description box. Um, one is for the certificate of occupancy video. Um, if you're a seller, that is a must see. And also my house didn't appraise, now what? Check them out. So listen, I hope this video was helpful. Please consider subscribing to my channel. Give me a thumbs up and a like, and I will see you next Wednesday. Bye-bye.